Well, ladies and gentlemen, action rolls on here. This is a 59 kilogram catchweight competition. Matthew Pugh fighting out of the red corner, representing the Northwest Fight Academy. And forgive me if I could refer to it as Reps MMA a few times over the course of the night. He takes on Aspire's Connor McKay. One and one for Pugh. Debut for McKay. Pugh in on the body lock. Yeah, wasted no time and closed the distance. Pugh drove his man to, uh, to the fence. Managed to get a nice um, outside trip take down there. And McKay done a good job getting back to his feet. He's going to get his back taken. Well, wow, both hooks in as well. Time to work now. And it's going to take a scramble. Beautiful work from both. Yeah, great scramble. Just enough room for him to sneak out there and get into the, uh, the dominant position, pressing Pugh against the fence. But McKay has to be wary about how quick uh, Pugh can get into these positions now. He got to that back in an instant. Lovely body lock, though, and drags his man down. Pugh straight to the cage. It's almost a mirror image. Take down for take down, back take for back take. Can McKay solidify this position? That's what Pugh wasn't able to do the first time. Well, McKay slowed it down now that he has the back, has that hook in. You can hear the Northwest Fight Academy corner telling you've got to get rid of that hook. Connor Hitchens there shouting the instructions. Yeah, yeah you can see McKay there using that left hook really deep in. So that if he gets up, he can stay on top just like he does there. And he's hooked it around under the hip. Oh, Pugh did a good job, shakes him off. Okay, back on that takedown from the back. And in the side control here. Then McKay representing Aspire. Yeah, he gets a leg drag position. Good grappling here from McKay, impressed so far. Well, good grappling from both guys, to be fair. He's had some really nice exchanges, but McKay just getting the advantage now. Chipping away with knees to the thigh again as he steps over the left leg. So he's trying to hook the leg there to limit Pugh's ability to stand back up on it. And it's, and it's working. Yeah, it, it stops him um, extending his leg a little bit and posting back up to his feet, but Pugh keeps finding a way. Now you looking to get two on one. Oh, oh sneaky little high kick from there. Tries it again, but Pugh's not going to let him get away with it twice. Pugh turns into him, but once again, McKay using the grappling but 10 seconds left to go working inside the close guard now if Matthew Pugh a good controlling round from McKay not a lot of damage but lots and lots of control from the top position yeah I mean that was you know for the most part it was effectively like a, a wrestling match between yeah. the pair of them and but that's you know it's a testament to Pugh's defense kept doing a good job to work back up to his feet. McKay had to stay glued to him. If you give him any space, then Pugh would have been out of there. So McKay stayed glued to him. That's a really measured performance, really solid first round. Other than, other than giving up the position, which was as much McKay as Pugh made, has Pugh made many mistakes in this round? No, oh, he's been doing a, a lot of the right things, you know, working his way back up to his feet. I think one of the only things that's, uh, that's going to work for him is as he gets up to his feet, maybe get some frames on the inside, you know, create space and then trying to boost his way off the fence. Um, but as he's getting up and McKay's remaining attached and it's hard to shake him off, so just getting something in between him. And frames Mc on the hooks. McKay certainly looked a happy man in the corner, all smiles. Young man who enjoys his work. Cage door closed again. Second three-minute round here, and Matthew Pugh fighting out of the red corner. He's in the black armor shorts as he takes on Aspire's Connor McKay in the black rain. So this is exactly what happened in the first round. Yep. Pugh was the first to close the distance, get the first takedown. It's McKay that switched it up, but if Pugh can um, can work this time, get his man down, and maintain a dominant position, obviously it could be a completely different texture. And that's a nice takedown. Now from drags the his man down onto the back. But McKay shoulder to the cage, works his way back up and is now looking to turn in to the Northwest Fight Academy prospect. Yeah, just doing um, basic stuff well, like 
peeling his back to the fence, which doesn't allow Pugh to come out to his back. As soon as he took his back off the fence there, he saw Pugh attach his chest to it. Trying to look for like the, uh, the broomstick sweep, broom handle sweep there. Wasn't able to get it, and he's back searching for a single. Yeah, that nice wide base, though, helping McKay out a little. And even even when taken down to the down to the net, he's not in a not in a terrible position here. He's in higher higher position than Pugh's head, and is now just chipping away while controlling the left arm. Yeah, some good hammer fist there from McKay, staying busy. Pew on the single though. Yeah, really tenacious Pew in the second round. Trying to pick that ankle now. Uh, to pick that out when you've got this cage like that where uh, McKay's foot can be just wedged in. So this is a better option, switching, trying to pick the single. Wait until he hops it out maybe and try to take it. McKay's takedown defense though, not found wanting at the moment. He always manages to get that nice wide base. Digs the side of the foot in between the cage and the mat. Yeah, and, uh, you know, staying busy with his shots as well. He's not been taken Ooh. down, staying busy with his shots. Knee to the body, is that hurt, Pew? I think. He's gone down, body shots. I think that knee right to the body did hurt him. And he looks pinned on the oh, face. Oh, and there the it's underneath. In. It's in. Yeah, that's tight. There's the tap, and it all started with the knee to the body. That is like a Steve Wet dream. Absolutely. I mean... You could see the complexion of the fight chair. As soon as it landed, Pew reacted. He had to back away. Yeah. Connor McKay refused to give him an inch. Yeah, and I think it's an underutilized thing. If you've got somebody who's desperately pressing forward on the fence, you know, their momentum coming forward means they're going to be driving onto that knee. And uh, it doesn't take the biggest of shots for your partner to walk, for your opponent to walk onto it. Double impact. And as you say, that completely changed things. Right, takes the, you know, takes that wind away immediately. The brain goes fuzzy for a second, and boom. A few people disappointed, but he's had some good moments yeah, in that fight. Still a young guy, lots of time oh, to go. Oh yeah, without being, without being ignorant or rude, he's still a baby. And he, you know, you, know, Coach Kavanaugh said it best a few years ago. I spoke win or learn, and then this, at this point in your career, it's all learning, right? Absolutely. Aspire, who have kicked off the first portion of the show, now move to 4-1 on the night. Let's turn it over to our MC, and he will make it official.